How the heck should you trade Netflix right now on earnings? Let's talk about it in this video. First and foremost, a big, big takeaway. Netflix is down humongously massive. So I mean, we're talking, well, as of right now, 70% from the highs. That is huge. And I really, really don't think Netflix is going to go away, team. I don't think this is going to disappear. In fact, I think this is a great reset. And this is an amazing, amazing opportunity to buy low. And I have been slowly, slowly accumulating, although I had a much bigger order down at 141 that just never filled, obviously, because we never got to the 200 simple on a monthly chart. But long story short, there's no moving average in the way of Netflix at all. We are above the daily 10, 20, 50, and we are also gapping well above the 10 EMA on a weekly chart, and the 20 is forever away. So keeping this in mind, Netflix can certainly go higher. However, notice that we are doing a retest gap, meaning this is a bullish candle gapping up. So what I'm gonna do is go into an hourly chart and just give you my overall perspectives and opinions on what I think Netflix is gonna do here before market open. So when you're watching this, you can use this for your analysis. So here's a support resistance level at about 207. And if I'm looking at analyzing a wave count, I do think this is probably a one, two, some version of a three, a four, and this is a five. So we're probably gonna get like an ABC where it's gonna kind of trade down and chop around a little bit. And it's not gonna be the most exquisite of gaps today although you might get a lot more follow through in three or four days. Now, granted, again, Netflix could absolutely soar, but what I would simply say is allow it to pull back before aggressively buying it on a day trade or let it really, really run up before you aggressively short it. I would not be looking primarily for shorts on Netflix, although you could probably catch a nice one if you're fast enough and you're, if you're a really good scalper. I'm sure you could zoom into like a five minute or 15 minute and play some really, really cool pops uh, as it slowly kind of dwindles down lower throughout the day. I'm sure you can catch a good short or two if you're very, very fast. That's gonna be for my more, my more advanced moves. If you're looking to play long, I do like Netflix long later in the day today. Let it run up, let it have some type of crazy volatility for the first 45 minutes or so. Let it pull back, let some of these moving averages catch up and then kind of look to buy the overall dip. I think it's a very, very realistic play on Netflix. But make sure you draw out some of the lines here at the moving averages. Is it a chance that it fades down all the way to the 50 EMA today? Yes, there is a chance, although it's unlikely. I don't think we trade all the way back down to 202, but it's possible. Uh, it would kind of surprise me a little bit, but you know, nothing would be that, that ridiculous. I'm pretty much expecting a small indecision, uh, upper shadow, lower shadow candle, probably bearish if I had to guess marginally at close of today. Again, team, I could be entirely wrong and just now have zero idea what I'm talking about, but I would be watching Netflix and this is exactly how I'll be watching for it to play out later in the day. Hopefully this was helpful, team. I plan on doing a lot of these with, uh, with additional gaps in the future because earnings season is here and I love earnings season so much, especially for day trading and option selling. It's one of my favorites. And of course, you all know Tesla, coming up tonight. This is going to be really exciting. And I'm calling for a gap up on earnings on Tesla. So we will see what happens. All right, team, you're absolutely amazing. I'll see you into the next earnings gap update.